and so how would you like to learn how to have a two hour workday imagine two hours that is all you got to do and that's how you get your income and that's how you that's 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 how you generate your your leads how you build your business we're going to talk about syndication how to make syndication simple and how do you turn it into a two hour workday how do you do the two hour workday we're going to talk about that but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so what do I mean by syndication made simple? First, let me just make sure I clarify syndication. What does syndication mean? Syndication means sharing your content across multiple platforms. Now, you can do that. You can do that really simply by just uh, you know posting say for example a video to YouTube or posting a post to Facebook or anything like that and then taking that link and sharing it everywhere right there's there's uh, there's um, tools out there and you that let that do that automatically they'll take a link and they'll share it across different platforms um or you can do it yourself right just to take the link share it there's a problem with doing that because platforms usually don't want the people to leave the platform so if you were if you're on Facebook say and you share a YouTube link not too many people are going to see that link because Facebook won't even show it to them right there's a there's this whole thing about uh, uh the platform decides what they show to others based on what they think the person will do or you know there's there's a whole there's all sorts of education about that so one of the things I know is that over the last couple the last um, almost a year now I've been basically sharing my content across all platforms and I'm doing it using native content so how do you do that what do I mean by that and by the way before I go any further uh if you're listening to this as an audio you might want to go check out the video it's going to be at cis250.jsgagnon.com that's course income secrets 250 and um there's a blog post and there's a video but I also export it to audio and share it to my audio platforms right so if you're listening to this in an audio uh you should go check out the longer vi the, the video this way all right so and the other thing is if are you a building a business online I would love to hear from you and just comment below and if you're watching the video just comment let me know where you're watching from I look at all the comments I reply to all the comments I would really uh love to hear from you all right so syndication multiple contents creating all the content you need for all your platforms I mean I'm you might have seen this before but let me just kind of show you what I'm talking about if I um kind of share with you oh I no I don't have it uh do, 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 where is it where's my where's my image right over here so um so basically what I do if I show you the screen here is I start with um I start with the recording right right now I'm recording this video I'm recording the video I'm doing I do videos every single day they take me about 30 minutes well it depends right I sometimes I'll record 25 minute video sometimes a 30 minute video sometimes I you know I could probably do 15 minute videos, but I keep them around the 30 minute mark sometimes they're 40 45 whatever but I try to keep them at around 30 minutes and but I just record the video right I use a software called OBS and I just start recording that's it right and then I write a blog post on the same topic and I put the video in the in the blog post I upload it to YouTube right I mean we'll go with that in a second but that's kind of what I start with right I start with this and then what I do is I go and I generate the process and then I post it to all these platforms as you can see there's all this stuff that's going on all these different platforms that's kind of what I that's kind of what I do right and how do I do that uh, like I said is I record the video and then I create the blog post so both of these these first two actions if you will they take me uh probably an hour right if, if we consider the time it takes to record the video and then the writing the blog post you know the creative process and just kind of I mean it's not perfect I could probably spend a lot more time on it but um you know after getting better and better you know in the beginning it would take me longer now it's taking me less time but it still could be you know uh, something that uh, that can even even be improved um okay so and there's there's other other 
people that do this by just recording video and they don't even write the blog post they send off the video to a VA a virtual assistant and the VA creates the blog post from the video from your text and you can even automate some of that stuff but I'm I'm not there yet but <clears throat> but the thing is that that generates me two pieces of assets two assets that I can use that that are the cornerstone of the content right then I run a process to generate all the pieces I need so out of that process comes a short video so I need a video for YouTube uh not YouTube sorry for Twitter for LinkedIn for Pinterest I need those videos they have to be different because the 30 minute video won't be allowed uh, to be shared on those other platforms right and why do I do that because I could share the link right like I said I told you before if I share the link to YouTube and I share the link to Facebook <laughs> sorry the in Facebook and in LinkedIn and Pinterest that'll that'll kind of work and I've been do, I've been doing that before in the past but there's not you don't really get that much engagement when you do that because the platform doesn't like it so that's why you want to create a video that you can actually share directly on those platforms right so what I do is I generate shorter videos of the longer video so I basically take the, the long video I cut it up in the beginning so you know two minutes for Twitter five uh five or ten minutes for LinkedIn Pinterest well actually LinkedIn has a maximum of 10 minutes Pinterest have, has a maximum of 15 minutes um so you know I I do five minute video and a two minute video and I take the five minute video and I share that to Pinterest and LinkedIn and uh Instagram Instagram also has I think uh, I have to look that up but I think Instagram well Instagram I think has a 60 minute vi limit and, and Facebook has a four hour limit but I still share just the five minute video on those other platforms because uh at the end of my video I have an outro a call to action right which basically says that uh that this video is longer and they want to see the rest of it they got to go to my blog right and that brings people that are actually interested in my content to my blog so if somebody goes to my blog it's because they're actually interested in what I'm talking about right and the thing is that you don't want to just have random people go to your blog that aren't really interested in your topic because that's that 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 ends up causing you know negativity because they might see your stuff and then report you as not interested and that kind of stuff right on the platform so you got to be careful so it's I know it takes longer to get people on your blog on your post if you're uh if you're <laughs> doing it this way but at least the people that go are actually interested in your content right so that's kind of what I do so I do the short videos I also generate it also generates for me a video thumbnail and then a podcast thumbnail then the actual wave files that I can use to share to audio platforms and then I actually generate a gif which is basically a moving image right that <laughs> from the video that lets me use that in an email or maybe in a in a tweet or in a post on LinkedIn posts that allow for gifs right um and I can do that and it also generates for me a bunch of text files so all these text files are generated and uh, basically um they are different you know the, the different platforms have different limits right like on 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 Twitter you can only post a 280 character uh post on on um Pinterest it's like a 800 or a thousand or something on on LinkedIn it's like 1500 on Facebook it's four four or five thousand or something so you get different limits and my blog post that I create oh that's the other thing my blog post that I create is you know probably I don't know five thousand words or something or maybe more I, I don't know I, I never done the math but it's certainly more than the short version so I have to get these pieces of text for the platform right so after I've got all the pieces then I can share it to all the different platforms so sharing to all these platforms you know might take me five minutes per platform like first the YouTube one I do that in the beginning because I need the YouTube video in my blog post but sharing to LinkedIn sharing to Facebook sharing to Pinterest sharing to Instagram those all take you know a few minutes right so um and sharing to SoundCloud also takes a few minutes so I take all these I share all these to all these platforms which you know isn't that many right and one two so I've got click e-course uh IG um click e-course uh well <laughs> Instagram so click e-course Instagram Pinterest Facebook LinkedIn and YouTube right so that's that's six platforms that's all I do I share it to six platforms 
and then what happens is uh the audios are shared to the different audio platforms right Alexa iHeartRadio Spotify Google Podcast Stitcher <coughs> and also iTunes from SoundCloud and then I also create a story on my Snapchat that I then share to Facebook uh, Inst uh Instagram and now LinkedIn stories as well and I take that same video and post it on TikTok so that's that's how I end up with all these posts on all these different platforms now the other part is when I create my blog post it's picked up by a tool called OnlyWire now that tool's not free it, it's like 10 bucks well not even I think it's like 60 bucks a year or something like that and that tool picks up the blog post and shares it to all these other blogging platforms right so so yeah so I mean that's basically the process in a nutshell that's kind of how I do it um the the syndication is you know if I if I whoops like I said if I start from here I start from here where I record a video I record a video and then I end up sharing it to all these platforms right I share it all over the social media and that's and that and that takes me like I said it takes me not even two hours to do the content and share it everywhere because the generation of the content is is automated right so I mean if you had to do it yourself every single day or every single week when that, however often you want to share uh, your content you definitely need time to generate all these pieces right and that's one of the things I do is I make it easy I I've made it easy myself I've created uh, scripts that let me do it so I mean uh, let's just uh let's just uh, so I mean if I just let me make this a bit bigger so I mean if I show you what I've done uh basically uh code so I've got a script that generates a gif from a video right so this is basically the script that generates uh different pieces it does all the pieces then it ends up creating a gif for my um, emails I've got uh, another script that uh, trims the video so I mean the trimming is basically uh, similar it takes the uh, input here the like for my outro right so I actually have so on my videos let's go back here on my videos I actually have at the end of them I have this uh this video that I recorded where is it mm, no mm, no no if me they're not sorted there we go okay there it is this one here so this video here I'll just uh, it's muted but basically all it is so I recorded so I took a um I took an image right I took an image and then I created a video with that image and then I just talk uh I read it right this was part of an episode blah 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 so if you're if you were to have listened to the right we're, we're at the 13 minute mark so if you had listened to the two or the five minute version you would have had that at the end which would have brought you to this uh, blog post where you can see this full video right where I talk about how right now what I'm talking about how I create this so I have this um this image that I just created right I just used paint I use paint right I go in paint and I just said uh, I just added text like this <clears throat> said this this was part was an episode <coughs> episode that was part of you know whatever right I uh, just and you can use definitely better tools than just paint but as you as you can see you can do something pretty simple with something like paint right and I can just I can just resize this I can move this around I can make this a bigger font if I want right um, but like I said there's tools out there that are a lot better than that and <laughs> and if I want I can make the background actually I had the background black right <coughs> so that's uh, not obviously what you want but anyways the point is and we could probably I could probably show you how to do that uh just to, I'll save that right now but this is the the video has got this and you know it's it just lasts this video is only 
28 seconds right and I add that to the end of so what I do is I take the long 30 minute video I cut it up to two minutes or five minutes or 10 minutes or whatever I want and then I add to the end this little outro the end and I I fade the end of the video so at the end of the video the last maybe five seconds or so it kind of fades away to nothing the sound goes down and the and the, and the video goes down to black and then I switch over to that that text right so that's what I do here and that's what this trimming thing does all this stuff uh you know trims it takes the it takes the what does this one do it takes the full video and trims it and then it takes the video and it adds this like fade duration to it it's like totally ridiculously insane how all this stuff works right and then I got this part here that takes the 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 outro right if I have an outro if I don't have an outro it does uh, it generates it uh, but normally it's always there uh, and then I create the output file which will generate the final output which will be the 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 trim video that's faded at the end and then it puts the second part together so it ends up with one video and it can be a video of whatever length I want right so that's the second script I got and then the other one is the main one which basically does the generation of the actual uh, of all of it right all I do is I call this script with the position I want in the video with the uh the title I can give it the title all these things it also generates all these text files right the Pinterest post and the uh and the Facebook live post and the YouTube post it generates all these text files right and these text files mm, I probably have to fix this the URL what is that oh that's one this has to be get URL actually I might as well fix that right now because that's one of the things I've been having problems with so URL there you go that's what I need that's what I need in there right get URL instead of URL yep oh it's get URL that's right perfect okay so anyways that's that's the scripts that's the process that's how that works and um where was I I don't have okay and all oh, right that's what I was showing you okay so I mean and that's the process that's the process I go through and the thing is that for you to do that obviously you know are you a programmer do you want to have you know set up all these things on your computer do you want to learn how to how to run scripts how to install the software you need for that you certainly could do that and you you know maybe I'll put together some sort of training on how to do that the only problem with that is you really need to be technical right you really need to understand how to install things and <laughs> you know imagine somebody trying to explain to you how to do brain surgery or, or you know or or, or fix a cavity in, in somebody's teeth right that unless you've had the training it's really hard for somebody to show you how to do that right but you know like I said maybe I will put together something for somebody who has the technical understanding and technical knowledge of it <coughs> but for now what I've done is I've actually made something even better than that now I don't know if I'll be able to show it to you because it's still in development right now but um yeah let's see if I can show you something so what I've done is uh, let's go here let's show you this so what I've done is I've put together I've put together a platform where you can actually do that yourself so that's totally ridiculous totally insane I'm so excited about it and I want to share it with you I'm actually putting together a webinar next Tuesday uh, well if you're listening to this from my email you won't you won't it'll be too late but there might be a replay the link will probably still work maybe there's going to be another session I'm not really sure we'll see how it goes but really what you want to do is you want to to learn how all this works and how to use it but the 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 matter of the simple matter is that um you know here's here's how it works if I go in in my 
uh, to the syndication uh, page <coughs> on the site um, I can create a new series or I'll just choose an existing one and whenever so the the way it works is that you create a series or a show right and then with the show which like in my case is course income secrets right so in my show every single time I create a video I want to generate all these pieces of asset right I want to generate um I want to generate a trimmed a two-minute video I want to generate a term five-minute video I want to generate the wave audio file I want to generate text for my Aweber email list I want to generate text for Facebook I want to generate text for my LinkedIn post I want to generate text for my Pinterest post I want to generate text for text for my, <laughs> my SoundCloud post I want to generate text for my YouTube post for my Twitter post and then I want to generate a gif image I want to generate a podcast image and a video thumbnail right and and maybe I want to do more than that um but and and you can do that just by adding I don't know if this works right now I tried it the other day and it wasn't working but if I if I want to add an asset I want a, a new um text asset so I'm going to call this uh let's say I want to start posting on um I'm trying to remember there was one thing I thought maybe I was going to post before that I thought oh I need to create one of these for two um I'm trying to remember what it was that I would need to post what platforms are you using right that that aren't in this list there's a Instagram TikTok LinkedIn I forget there was a but anyways let's say I want to do a let's say I want to do a uh, Facebook Facebook share right I just want to do a piece of text for my Facebook share so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say title so there's some you know things you got to learn about the the, the different um, um <coughs> about the uh keywords that you can use because you don't want to you, this is a template right so you got to put in there the things you want to show up I wanted to show the title at the top and then I want to put text but I just want the first uh 300 characters all right so that will give me a, an output of the text and the title right so I'm going to go like this I'm going to save that like this and the Facebook share is done now it's added right here in the text you see right here Facebook share is added right there I click on done so now I have my series set up so what happens is every day I want to create a new syndication with that series right so then what happens is I start this the new syndication right here <coughs> uh I'm gonna upload a video so let's just say I'm gonna upload uh I actually have a bunch of episodes from the past here I'll just go <coughs> and add for example uh how do you use snapchat in 2020 oh that's empty I didn't upload everything yet let's just go to say create your content okay that one there has it so the video is right here and I'm going to click on this and then it's going to upload the video to the platform so so basically what you do is you say okay this is the video I want you to use for this syndication right so you just upload the video like this and um and then after it's done then you then you can well there's other things you need to do you need to put in your title and other a couple other things so let's just uh if I go to the video thumbnails here now over here I can tell it okay where do I want the video of the image to be right I can go through here <coughs> I can find a position that I want uh, I don't know where I could where could I put that I don't really, I don't really know there I'll just do this okay so it's a one minute 48 I'll do the same thing for the gif now you can make it a very a lot more precise if you uh if you know the exact frame and and this is going to be improved where you're going to be able to uh, do that from here but if I just click on next step right there now I have the episode number I don't know 33 uh, the url is uh, http s slash 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 so I'll just put that for now whoops.com and the title is um step step eight of success 
<coughs> or whatever it doesn't really matter this is but it's whatever you want the title to be right if I click on next <coughs> then I put the text this is the text for my episode you will see that not all the text is added to all the uh, text assets depending on the length so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and let's just for the fun of it let's just do this <coughs> I'm going to do a bunch of them so that we can kind of see <coughs> I'm not sure how much of this is going to work but let's just say line two and you know line five whatever right so I mean obviously I could cut and paste some proper text the other thing is you can use this as an, an um, YC wig editor so you can do make this bold right I can make this a uh, different color over here I can fill this in with the let's say I want this to be red right so now the text is red you can do all these different things you can even insert images and things like that right but okay so I click on finish so hopefully this will work I haven't I've been working on it obviously so let's just click the button and see what happens yeah wonderful okay so it is working so once you uh, click the button to generate the assets what it does is it starts the process as you can see right there it's actually working on the different assets some of them are processing some of them are pending some of them are ready right so this video thumbnail is ready I can actually download it to my computer or I can go look at the, the well just view it if I do this I'll just see the actual video the image that we just did a screenshot of that's the image that would become your thumbnail when you're sharing your video right instead of the default thumbnail um and uh, and then after it's all done you can actually click on generate zip right now it's going to tell me please wait for uh please wait for all assets to be generated right but once the assets are all generated you can generate a zip and then you can download it to your computer and you have all the pieces for you to share to all the platforms and that's kind of how the syndication uh engine works and that's kind of how you can get to the two hour workday by working by creating content and then using a platform to generate all the content so that you can spend literally 15 to 30 minutes to share the content that's all you that's that's and then you take then the rest of your time can be either with your family or it can be you know engaging on social media if you obviously if you want to grow you got to engage as well but so that's 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 it that's it so what a, where so yeah so basically next week I'm gonna start to talk about this get more into the details answer questions you're live we're going to do a live session where you can actually uh, ask me specific questions I can show you specific things we can even sh access your screen potentially right and, uh, and and we can share your and we can get you set up but how do you get access to this and uh, you just need to go to get now this page probably will change but the link will be the same <coughs> and the link is going to be the two hour workday so two hour workday.com you can go there you can actually register you just go to this page here and let me get my, uh, my image out of there because so you can go to this page and you're going to click on this button right here you can click on register it'll pop up a, a form where you need to just fill in it'll tell you what time it is you put your name and the email address and you register right so that will get you on the list and you're we're going to see you on Tuesday the 27th of October or if you're listening to this afterwards you can still click on this link to two hour so two hr right two hr workday so two hr w o r k d a y dot com two hour workday dot com and you can actually go and check it out there's there might be another webinar I'm not sure we'll see how it goes or uh there might be a replay again I can't be I can't be sure whether we're going to do a replay it really depends on how well it goes uh but the uh, the link will definitely be you still go to something where you can actually get and find out more so we're going to go through you know are you struggling to keep 
up creating content for multiple platforms are you are you spending 40 hours a week to post content across all your channels that's ridiculous right if you're doing that are you frustrated that it's taking you too long to create content to post across all your channels I mean <laughs> what if I could show you how to syndicate your content everywhere in less than two hours and that's kind of what we're going to do we're going to show you how that all works we're going to get into more details and we'll give you access to this platform so you can do it yourself all right hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time